Alright. Now, this is a game that highly amused me when I read about it. Just because the whole premise of the game is interesting. So we're gonna roll with this. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Let's make it a little bit more challenging. Let's do stealth. You know what? I'm one of those people that always skips tutorials and then I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. So let's just let's just watch a little bit. And let's get the basics around how to do this. This the is base. it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Spoke too soon. Don't want to interrupt anything. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. Basically the whole premise of this game is they have no idea you're in the house. They have no idea you're here. You're just... You're just here. And you're watching every single goddamn thing that they're doing you're just on the wall and on the ceiling and you're just not really supposed to be seen so it's really really this game basically is every stalker's dream come true. Or if you've ever seen any really really cheesy horror movies, this is this sort of has the same feel except you're not trying to kill somebody. Mr. Kaplan, welcome to your home for the summer. We're very excited to have you. This is one of our most popular properties, and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit. We have you booked through August 31st. Your security deposit is cleared, and our cleaning service freshened everything up on Saturday. You can buy groceries at McClendon's in town, and if you'd like to eat dinner out, there are quite a few restaurants on Meridian Ave. Just off Fairview. If you have any questions, or if you run into any trouble at all, please don't hesitate to call. Pete Fuller, Hanager Rentals, Cindy Bluffs, Oregon. So another game that takes place in Oregon. I think I think the last game I played took place in Oregon. Oh, and apparently you can take possession of objects. See now. In order to stealth in this game, you have to take possession of objects. That sounds really familiar. But again, that's the whole point of a stealth mission. You're not supposed to be seen. from light to light. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. You 
Goni's chapters to figure out the dilemma facing Darren decide how we should resolve the situation. You should remember the family desires a different outcome. It's up to you to decide which path to take. If you remain undetected and learn the desires of more than one character, you can uncover a compromise that will help the family. Writer's block. A nightmare. Why don't you finish? Well, no one's around. I think we could just basically go upstairs. I did not mean to do that. I love how you can just jump from the light fixture all the way over there to the one over here. Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. That was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grofield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help. Or a long drive. Or a drink. Each character has a number of writings or drawings to discover. You found one of Dan's. And that you know what's troubling him. You should search the house. For him to discover more about his dilemma. Oh, he's over there. Okay, so we can just... He can't see me right now, so... Let's just... Wait, that wasn't him. to see what they're thinking. Clarion Dan's head indicates that he's remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories to learn, about, learn more about the current chapter. So apparently not only can you possess objects, you can invade the mind of the characters and learn all the trade secrets about them. Best game ever. Let's do it. Such folks on leaving all of that back home. Leaving what? New day, I can write my way back into this thing. Keep going. Find time for Tommy. Which I'm guessing is the name of the sun. Doesn't work. Why did I possess the light? Have to make sure no one here bullies Tommy. Going to kill me if I don't break through. Be different than before. Just keep it together. Does he have no eyes? Does he have eyebrows but no eyes? Or is it just this angle that you can't see them? Let's
Oh, I see. I'm supposed to get right up to them and possess them. So you literally invade their mind. They went to Dan's memory, can for fairly. Yeah, okay. Do you think coming here will help? Do you think coming here will help? It has to. Do you think coming here will help? There's no point in me continuing. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? So you're a struggling... author... with a growing son... And we don't know we don't know too much about the wife yet. Yeah, great. Dan, we're back. Hey mom. Okay, so now this is where the stealth begins. I'm faster. Hey, look, having fun today? How's my man? I'm good. I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. 
I meant it. I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. Oh. So that's what this is about. Me too. Me too. Me too. I promise. I promise. Okay, let's go find the sun and see what's going on. Oh, okay, here and there. This is really... Like, you know that feeling you get when it's night and everything is quiet? And you feel like someone's watching you? This is one of those moments. Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. You, there it is. It was just. Wait. Come back. Hey, wait. wait. Stupid thing. Maybe it's you. I'm gonna get you. Check that thing. I almost had it. Way to go, me. I know I saw something. Rider's block.
<laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, bud. Set. <laughs> 